Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to a preview that I'm doing today on an upcoming class. This is the first time I'm going to be doing this class. I just wrote it on trends. It's a course on how to read trends in stock charts. And the class is designed by me, Melissa Arno, and sponsored by the StockSwish LLC, which is the company that I own. If you would like more information on this course, please feel free to reach out to me and Melissa at thestockswish.com. You can go to Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, or like me at any one of these places on LinkedIn or follow me on Skype. So the class is on trends. It's about how to read the proper trend in a stock chart. Now this sounds like a very simple and easy thing to grasp, and yet it's actually challenging for many traders or investors to read trends accurately. There's a lot of people that are losing money in the market and they, they make the reason for the loss, particularly if they're a trader, and say, well, I lost money in this trade because of do, do, do. And it may be something just as simple as I'm getting the direction wrong. And they're looking for a complicated reason for the loss, and yet the reason is very simple that they just didn't take the stock in the right direction. Why? Because they don't know how to read the trend. And what happens is that many people are trading for years and don't know how to read trends, and they're looking for more complicated reasons to explain the, why they're not successful or why they're losing money in the market, and it may just be something as simple as the fact that they are not in the stock in the right direction. If you're not in the position in the right direction, it's very difficult for you to make money. Now this is a simple, basic, really easy understanding of what's going on in reference to the possibility of why you're not successful if you're an investor or trader in the market because you're getting the trend wrong. You're getting the directional bias incorrect. And yet the understanding of this in and of itself is not as simple and basic as the reason perhaps for the situation that you're in. Learning how to read trends is challenging. And yet, it is something that is required in order for you to be successful as a trader. This, this picture actually exemplifies a directional bias in a really nice uh, artistic way. If you look at the purple arrows, they're pointing in one direction. If you focus on the green arrows, they're pointing in the opposite direction. Do you see that? So is the stock in an uptrend? Is the stock in a downtrend? Is the stock neutral? Do you know how to read a stock chart in the correct directional bias? And this is what this class is about. This is what this class is designed to teach traders and investors. It's a course for both traders and investors. It's a course on how to read trends and stock charts. The purpose of the course is to teach you how to read the proper direction in the chart of a stock. All directions are studied. Is the trend bullish, bearish, or neutral? In order to be successful taking positions in trains, a trader must be able to accurately read trends. Support and resistance is a key ingredient in understanding trends. Examples are reviewed with chart studies. Traders and investors need to know how to define a stock's trend. Course information focuses on reading price action with detailed technical analysis in order to determine a chart's trend. This course is designed for traders and investors to accurately comprehend the directional bias in a chart. This is great information and something that every trader really needs to understand and learn. The trends class is designed for what type of trader? Every trader. Every trader in every time frame needs to know how to read trends in stock charts. This class is designed for every trader. If you are a professional trader or an investor, part-time, full-time, any, any time frame, then reading direction is vital to generating consistent profits. Because if you don't get the direction right, it's going to be hard to make profits. The benefit of this class is that you can use the information on how to read proper direction to assist you in making correct decisions to not only enter a stock, but also make a decision when to exiting your trade or core investments. That's the other great thing too. When are you exiting the trade? If you see the change of trend take effect, you will get out. If you're in a position and you know how to read the change in trend before it goes against you, then you can take profits. So this is wonderful information to learn. Number one, to read the trend correctly, to get in it to make money, to see when the change in trend is taking effect so that you can get out and take your profits before you lose profits that you don't really necessarily need to lose. 
It's about getting the overall direction right in the stocks you trade and not only that the market. We are going to talk about the market direction in this class. This class is going to review the market direction. And many, many people find reading the market direction challenging. If you can get to the point where you become good at reading market direction, you're on your way as a trader. There's people that have been trading for years that can't do this right. They get tripped up all the time, and I know that this is challenging to do. The market challenges me constantly to read what it's doing correctly. However, you've got to challenge yourself to do this, and we're going to discuss this and learn this, and I'm going to teach you about this in the class. Here's a short-term view of the Qs. Really nice chart here. This is the QQQs. Right up here, nice bullish chart. You can see it going. Gapped up in here in May, holding all through here. Pull down to support and is holding now here as well. Short-term view is bullish in the QQQs. We're in an uptrend. Now, the longer-term view is what? Where do we go from here? Do we carry forward? Well, let's look at it. Looking all the way back and seeing where we hit up against that point in the past week, we did not make it over 75. However, we got up right up in here against it. Now, what's going to happen when we blow up over 75? We have nowhere to go but up. So this is a longer-term view, seeing how we rallied up here into this resistance on the Qs. This was back all the way back in 2000. And this is what brought us to this point we're at today when we started carrying through and lifting up earlier this year. And following through and breaking out and moving up higher. And I do think we're going to get hit over the 75 area. And when we do, there's just nothing, nowhere to go but up. Nowhere to go but up. So we'll see if we get to this point, if we actually can break over 75, and what happens after that as well. This may bring forth the big green bullish day I'm looking for in the market when we hit over the 75 number and follow through. So why learn how to read market direction? There's lots of reasons it's important to learn how to read market direction, which actually is something you've got to focus on constantly because the market moves. To make decisions on retirement investments, 401k, IRA stocks, these are the reasons why to learn how to read market direction. Also to make decisions in current short-term investments. If you're in short-term investments, you want to pay attention to what's happening with the market. Also, to be a successful trader if this is what you were setting out to do. To be knowledgeable concerning the status of the world economy. This is extremely important in today's environment as well. To be in awareness about the strength or weakness of particular companies or industry sectors that might affect your employment. Let's just say you're working as a full-time job. To pay attention and learn how to read the market direction is going to help tell you what's going on, not just in the world economy, but also in the particular strength or weakness of companies or industry sectors that may affect your employment right now if you're employed full-time. It's interesting, when the whole collapse started happening with the mortgage industry, and then obviously with the market, all of that stuff going on, it was, it was very important to be aware of the sector, of the market, and everything that was happening to learn to read that change of trend that was taking effect even going on before that dip down, before the collapse and the fall off in there. So it is important to learn how to read market direction. It's important for your overall well-being of your financial health for many reasons. Even if you're not a full-time trader, even if you're just dabbling in the market, as an investor, part-time, for your retirement, for, for your employment, to understand what's going there. There may be something going on with particular companies or industry sectors that affect your job right now. And you've got to understand what's going on. And if you can read charts, you, you will have so much of more of an awareness of what's happening around you. You will be empowering yourself with the information to be more intelligent, more aware, make better decisions. So why learn how to read market direction? Uh, preempting seeing what's happening if we're headed towards a world crisis. You know, we are in a world where we are interconnected and there's no way around it, okay? To, to put in a blindfold and pretend that we're not interconnected is completely ridiculous. We are, okay? All the countries of the world were interconnected and you've got to learn how to read what's going on in the U.S. stock market and it's important to do this. All of these things are going to help you become more aware and focused and evolved. Why learn how to read direction? Self-empowerment. Self-empowerment. Even if you want to give your money to someone else to invest, say you, you have a lot of money and you want to hire a stockbroker, 
or someone to trade and take positions for your own investments, you are still responsible for what's going on. You can't put all the responsibility on that person. You are, you are giving them the, the money to take trades, but you've got to follow the decisions that they're making, read the charts, making sure that they are actually taking good trades for you and making good investments for you. And if you learn to read direction and follow what's going on right, You'll be reaffirming that the decisions they're making for your investments are actually accurate and it's something you want to be in. And you're empowering yourself to do this. Now, I'm not saying you have to read this stuff every day or even every week, but you've got to read it on some kind of regular basis. You can't not look at what's going on in your portfolio except for once or twice a year. Self-empowerment is about becoming aware of what's happening. Even if you don't have time to invest your own money and you've given the job to somebody else to do, you've got to keep track of it. If you don't know how to read trends and stocks and you're in positions, you won't know if the investments someone else has made for you are good or bad, are correct or incorrect, are in the right trend, in the right direction of bias or not. And maybe you need to get out and tell this person, wait a minute, I don't want to be in this thing. I know how to read charts and I'm in the wrong direction. Get me out of this thing. Okay, you're, you're, when you learn the information, you're making yourself aware. There is power in information, and if you learn, even if somebody else is taking the action for you because you hired them and gave them the job, because you don't have time to do it, you are empowering yourself with the information to make the right decisions to protect yourself because ultimately, that's your money. And even if you give it to someone to invest, it's yours. It, it's yours. And if you lose it, uh, they're not going to cover your losses. So you have to be responsible. So this whole class is about getting the direction right. And once again, as I discussed earlier, many traders and many investors do not know how to read direction right. It's like looking at a sign that's confusing. Wait a minute, which direction are we supposed to go? Let's look at a map. And that's what a chart is. It's like a map. It's a map that's telling you and laying out for you the correct direction you're supposed to go, but you may not know how to read maps. And if you don't know how to read maps, then you have to learn. Just like if you don't know how to read trends and stocks, then you have to learn. And this is what I teach in the trends course. The number one reason why people lose money in the market is what? Confusion in the directional bias. It appears that everybody is going this way and therefore I should, but wait a minute, is that right? Maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm confused. These arrows, three in the one direction, the other one in the under direction, I don't know how to read a map. What am I supposed to do? Crap. Okay. This is what you're saying to yourself. The bottom line is that the number one reason why people lose money in the market is in their in positions in the wrong direction. It's, it's, this is a simple, simple, simple concept. And yet this is so missed by people. I am, I am just amazed how many people miss the boat in understanding trends. People do not understand how to read trends. People do not understand how to read directional bias. You will not be successful over the long haul if you get in trends in the wrong direction. You will not be able to make money that way. If you're losing money in the market, then take a look at, at, at this as the possibility for why you're losing because it really might be just as simple as this. And this is the number one reason why people lose. They get in trades that are not good trades because they're in the wrong direction and therefore they're, they, they can't possibly make money. The way to make money is playing with the directional trend. So how do you read stock chart direction? Reading the direction of the market is challenging. In fact, very few traders can read the market successfully on a regular basis or, or any stocks for that matter. And it takes a thorough analysis of price action in order to read the market correctly. One of the key ingredients in successfully reading the market is being a master chart technician. This is a skill. It is absolutely a skill that is acquired with the proper knowledge and study. So therefore, it is possible for you to start reading trends correctly, but you have to have the right information. You have to know how to read the map. This isn't about wishing or hoping with a magic wand where you are dink and you are wishing and winding up the wand in the air. I wish, I hope I, that this thing is going to go in the direction I'm in the train. Well, you don't need to wish or hope if you get in the trade in the right direction of the stock in the first place. So it's not about picking tops and bottoms. That is just guessing. I use this picture of the magic eight ball here because it's a great, a great example of basically if you don't know the direction of a stock 
and you choose to take a trade anyways. You may as well just, you'll have a better odds actually of just picking the magic eight ball and deciding what to do. And flip it upside down, and what does it say? It is decidedly so. Okay, then if we're all take the trade. No, this isn't the right way to trade. Picking tops and bottoms is guessing. You may as well just look at the magic eight ball and do what that tells you what to do. You'll ha probably have more success than picking tops and bottoms because it's nothing but guessing. And the odds are that you will not profit or do well in your trading portfolio if you do not understand the direction of a chart. If you're trying to attempt to pick the top or the bottom, you are hoping that the trade is at the bottom. I'm hoping that it's at the top. I wish this thing would turn around against me. I'm down in the trade. Crap, what am I supposed to do? Stop. Stop the nonsense and just make a decision to learn how to read trends right. Make a decision that it is possible to learn how to do this and just learn it which is learning how to read directional bias. Success comes with accuracy and a purposeful design. This is the way that you make money in the market. Accuracy, purpose, and a design. That's how you get success. And I don't think it's actually a happenstance that success, which starts with an S, is the money sign. I don't think that's by chance. It's a sign. Success and the dollar sign. Beautiful. Why are trends important in trading? Understand and reading trends is important in trading because if you err your directional bias, you will lose. Boom, that's it. And learning how to read trends correctly is important for you to make money in the market taking a position in the right direction. So therefore it is important because this is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to see the success. This is how you're going to make money. So all of this, of course, everything that I teach in the trends class is based on what? The way that I trade, which is based on technical analysis, which is reading price patterns. So the definition of technical analysis is what? It's the analysis of past price changes in the hope of forecasting future price changes. Here's an example. If you were a day trader, you could have traded Facebook, which was a golden gap. You could have traded this and made money as a day trade on Facebook. Now, would you have done this long or short? We're going to discuss this type of thing to see what the trend is. This is one of these great examples, actually, of a chart, a popular stock symbol in the market that people do not know how to read the trend right in this. If I asked five people what the trend in Facebook is right now, I, I bet I get five different answers. You know, nobody would answer the same thing. Well, maybe some people would. But it'd be interesting to find out. And if you're a swing trader, WFM is a great trade. This is a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful pattern here in WFM. Are you reading this right? What way are you in this stock and why? Once again, these moves are powerful and there's so much money to make them, to make the money in these moves if you get in them correctly. However, you do have to know how to do this. Swing trading happens to be, you get in the trade, you could hold it for a week to two weeks. The swing trade could last for approximately five to 10 days. And then you're out. It's a shorter turn trade, but you're carrying it overnight, so you need to know how to do it. And therefore, you need to know how to read the proper directional bias in the trend. Because you can't take something overnight if you don't read, know how to read the trend right. And you can't even take a day trade and make money if you don't know how to read the trend right. Now, I know there's people that scalp and make money scalping all the time, but they're not playing on momentum. They're not having the kinds of moves that I'm seeing in stocks that run. They're not seeing the risk to reward results that I'm seeing in my trading, which is based on the proper read on the directional chart, the entry, the strategy, and the momentum that plays on that. Because you will get momentum follow through nicely and beautifully and fantastically if you're getting the trend right. Or you won't if you're not. 
Here's another great example if you wanted to be in a core trade. What's a core trade? Something that lasts for more than a day trade, more than a carry overnight, more than a swing trade, something that you may be in actually for weeks or months or even years if you really wanted to be. An apple is a great example of a core trade that you could be in right now or could have been in before, depending on how you played it. So we're going to talk about some of these very popular uh, symbols and stocks that exist in the market and how to read these trends properly. And we're also going to discuss in the class, and I teach in great detail, support and resistance in charts. This, is, this plays a major factor in how to read trends, right? One of the main reasons why people find reading trends challenging is due to a lack of understanding on this topic. How to properly read support and resistance plays a major factor in how to read charts. Support and resistance are taught in great detail in this course. Part of getting the direction of stock correct is having a full comprehension of support and resistance. Chart support and resistance levels are analyzed in an advanced manner without accompanying examples. And the trends class focuses in on price and also teaches a sophisticated way to read support and resistance accurately. Reading support and resistance accurately is a skill. It is a skill, hands down. And it is a skill that is vital for any type of trader or investor. It's one of these things where you got to learn how to read it right. You have to learn how to read it right. In fact, you could be on a road, traveling down the road, taking great painstaking efforts to get make your way down the road. You could be actually riding a bicycle and you are sweating. You are riding this bicycle. You're, you're, you're really putting forth a lot of effort to make it to your destination. However, all the effort you could be putting into something could be taking you on a, on a road that is actually taking you in the wrong direction. And this is the best way that I can describe, uh, describe actually what is happening when people read support and resistance and when people read trends incorrectly. They, they really think that they are doing it right, but they're not even on the right road. And they're, they're actually, not only that, they're actually backpedaling. All the energy and, and effort that they're putting into going down the road that they're on, they're actually going backwards in their progress, and they're actually backtracking uh, in their progress. That is the best way that I can explain people that do not know how to read trends or support and resistance because they're putting forth all this effort to trade and take positions, and they're not even on the right road. So you've got to get on the right road. And I teach people this in the class, which is the correct way to read trends and support and resistance. You can put forth all the energy in the world. You're never going to get to your destination if you're on the right road. That's never going to lead you there. There's a million roads. They don't all lead to the same place. Not every road leads to success in the market. Not every road leads to success in the market and trading. Not every road leads to profitability in trading. So if you're not seeing profitability, then you may be on the incorrect road. You're, you're actually putting forth all this effort, losing money, doing all this work. You're, you're not even on the right road. You're not reading the trend right. You're not reading support and resistance right. You're on, you're on a road that is actually backtracking. You're actually putting energy and effort into losing. So what are you going to do? Decide that it is time to make some changes and, and learn or consider the possibility that you're on the wrong road. Uh, many people don't realize this, but it, this is a great way to describe it because if you do not know how to read trends or support and resistance, then you're probably on a road that is taking you nowhere or not to your goal, which is to become successful in the market. So the class is about the study of price and the movement of price. There's so much detail involved in understanding price direction, not just in charts of the market, but also individual stocks. Most of what is taught in classes and books about technical analysis is too general or overstated. That is 100% true, by the way. Simply relying on pivots, higher highs, higher lows, lower highs, lower lows, and even candlesticks on their own is not enough. The study of price is just about that and nothing more. It's about the price. This is really true. Most of what is taught in classes and books about technical analysis is too general, which means it's not enough information to make money, or overstated to the point that it is overstated that it actually harms you in being able to make a decision or making money because it's overstated what it's telling you to do, specifically this stuff about pivots and such. So this is very important information, and this is 100% true. 
trend reading has to be done up close. Like you take a microscope and you're microscoping it down. And there you have it. Now you can see it clearly. Yes, there it is. That's the trend. So learn how to read trends to make money trading in the right direction. This is how you're going to be profitable. And again, if you're not profitable trading, then it may be something as simple as learning how to read trends right. Because honestly, if you're getting in a stock in the right direction, you should be able to make money. I, I mean, you really should. There may be issues surrounding, some mental issues, some money issues, some discipline issues. But I've found that people in today's day and age that have been trading for a while, Use the discipline issue as an excuse and a crutch. And it's a crutch because they don't want to face up to the flat-on, full-on reality fact check that they don't have a strategy that works. It's they've wasted years of the life on it. Don't have a strategy at all. Don't know what a strategy is or don't know how to read the right directional bias on a chart and don't want to admit that to anyone or admit that to themselves or spend money on a class because they've been training for so many years that they they I actually can't even admit it to themselves that they don't know how to read trends right. But you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't and you're losing money trading and you can't even admit it to yourself because you're on the wrong road. And until you face up to reality, look in the mirror and do a reality check, you're going to continue on the same road, putting forth more effort, losing more money, and actually going in the wrong direction because you're on a road that's going to take you nowhere. You're backpedaling. You're not pedaling towards success. There's work involved to, to see success. There's no doubt. But you can put forth gobs and gobs and gobs of effort to get nowhere as well. It's success is not about the more effort you put into something, the more results you see. You do have to do work. You do have to put effort into things. But once you figure it out, it should be effortless. And if you've been doing something for years and you are not seeing the results, you have got to take a step back and ask yourself why. You know, I find that people use the discipline thing as a crutch when the fact is they just really don't know how to trade right. And it's a simple thing, like they don't have a good strategy, they don't have a strategy at all, and they don't know how to read the right direction to take a position. And, and I'm not saying that this is easy. This is the reason that I designed a whole class on this topic. This is challenging for people to learn, but it is certainly 100% doable, and it is a skill. And after you take the class, you're going to get good at it over time, just like anything else. You learn the information, the knowledge is yours, you're going to use it. You're going to use it to make money in the market. So remember, knowledge is important. It's one of those things that you have got to have. Proper education is the key to your success. Reading trends correctly is the key to your success. That's how you're going to be able to take positions. So invest in education. The class is on trends. It's a new course I'm doing for the very first time the first week of June. If you're interested in signing up, please contact me. It's a course on how to read trends in stock charts. The dates are June 5th and 6th. I'm breaking it up into two days. It's from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock Eastern Time. The cost is $9.99. If you're interested, contact me at Melissa at thestockswish.com. This class is going to fill up. I can, I can tell right now already the discussions I've been having with people. Uh, there's been a demand. People were asking me about this for some time before I even wrote the whole thing that this class is going to get full. So if you seriously want to do this class and if you're interested in learning how to read trends and, and never even read trends before, you're brand new to trading and you want to learn it, or if you have been trading and you realize that something's off in your read and you want to learn this, this is a great class and a great time to do it and a good time of year, by the way, uh, to study in the month of June, get this stuff down, and start to see some changes in your trading immediately. This is the kind of thing where you could see the changes take effect immediately once you realize, wait a minute, now I can get on the right road. Yes, this is the right road. Because as soon as you get on the right road, you're going to feel the difference. As soon as you get on the right road, you're going to feel the difference. It's not like you're going to have to wait a million years to know, recognize that you're on the right road now. You will recognize you're on the right road. You will feel it. So this class is going to be popular. I can tell from the discussions I've had with people. People are registered already. So if you want to sign up, contact me to sign up for this class. I will send you the packet of information. I do like to keep my classes to a certain amount of people because that way I can give everyone the proper time and attention and mentorship and answer everyone's questions. So it's going to be a really, really good course on 
opening up your mind and your eyes on recognizing how to read trends and support and resistance and all the things that are really going to help you make money in the market. And it doesn't matter if you're a full-time trader, a day trader, a swing trader, a core trader, investor. This class is for everyone, everyone that's investing in the market. So thank you so much for coming. If you're interested in more information in the class, reach out to me. I'm Melissa at thestockswish.com. Thank you so much and have a great evening, everyone.